the story of Plymouth Rock is that they pulled their boat right up next to that rock in 1620. They got off the boat, they got onto the rock, they get off the rock, they get onto the beach. Whether or not it happened, it's hard to say for sure. I think that they used it as a landmark when they came ashore rather than actually stepping on it, but that's the, the story of it. So they, they land here in 1620. They get through the winter. It's a very tough winter. About half of the people are dead by the end of the first winter. They get through the summer. And one of the, the common things at this time period is once you have the harvest in is you, you have a bit of a celebration. You, the hard work is done. You've got all the food in and you, you want to eat some of the food essentially. So they, they have that celebration and Massasoit shows up with about 90 of the Wampanoag people. They bring five deer. There's a lot of things on the menu. Some of them we would recognize, some of them we wouldn't. Deer are certainly on the menu. Poultry of some sort are going to be on the menu. It's more likely that it's duck rather than turkey, but turkey is certainly a possibility. No cranberries yet. They, haven't, they don't have sugar to sweeten them. But uh, that first Thanksgiving would have taken place 500 to 1,000 feet from where we're standing right now. The real importance of the rock doesn't matter how big it is and it doesn't matter whether or not they stepped on it because the real importance of the rock is that rock as a symbol and people have to decide for themselves what Plymouth Rock means to them and when people leave here that's our goal is to get people looking at the rock not just as a rock but looking at it symbolically. <laughs>